So, what is it that you do if your son or kid from back in the 80s had no place to put his GoBots or his Transformers? Hmm. Well, you go out and buy him a collector's case or, you know, be a, a good dad and build him some shelves, but, you know... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is Mr. Prime to the 2.5 Nizyme. I'm coming at you today with not really a review, just kind of like a showcase. Uh, one of my subscribers was watching my, um, I got the, this haul for 20 bucks, had a whole bunch of G1s in it, and stuff like that. And he noticed I had this sitting off to the side as I started doing the, the sweep of the stuff I bought. Wanted to see it, so I told him I'd just go ahead and do a little showcase of, uh, what it is. And here it is. It's the uh, GoBots, you know, the Mighty Robots, Mighty Vehicles Collector's Case. Their official licensed collector's case. This one has seen uh, better days. My dad purchased this for me at a flea market across the street from where he works. Uh, I have no idea how much he paid for it. It's had a sticker on there for the longest time. You can tell it's still got the teal blue, a real nice blue underneath it. Um, as you can see from the back, it's still got the nice shiny blue, but on the top it's got more of the tealish green look. Now the front graphic alone is really, really bright and vibrant. And you get the real nice yellow, bright yellow all the way around for the trim. You know, the collector's case in yellow, the nice real gold, nice GoBots logo, still bright with the uh, showing of the GoBots. It's got uh, clips here on both sides. The one is broke. And on the bottom of it, that one hinge right there, it's uh, snapped off. So I'll have to figure out how I can fix that. Now, I did not clean this to do this review because I've only had it for like the last two months and just been sitting on my review station. So, um, if you don't care, you're going to see some dirt. Basically, what this is, is just like your Transformers collector's case. Um, except it doesn't have the removable plastic liner. It's got the actual already molded in... Um, cavities. I'm just going to say that. As you can tell it falls down from there. And if you open it up again I did not clean this yet for the this review because I hadn't had the chance to. As you can tell it's still dirty. Um, and I also put in just a several toys that give you kind of like a, a look for what it's supposed to be. I got my couple GoBots. I did do a this is Spoon. I did do a review on him. This GoBot right here, I have no idea what his name is. And I got, you know, the Micro Machine and Jolt from the RPMs line sitting up top. Now the top, as you can tell, it's almost just a little bit bigger than the size of a Hot Wheel or this uh, Micro Machine. The bottom, it goes in just a little bit deeper to fit your lar more larger uh, GoBots. And the bottom is the, the lar largest part of the pockets. It actually does go back in there. Uh, 16 total um, pockets for this thing. So you can put in 16 GoBots. Or, you know, back in the day when you were a kid. And your mom didn't buy you that Transformers collector's case. You know, you got a couple spaces right here. Uh, let's just say Prime's trailer. Yeah, the, the one. This is just a parts thing I was using. You know, he does fit in there. Roller. So roller is probably about the size, you know, your mini bots. So if you had some mini bots back in the day on a G1, fits in there real nice. Or you know, you got the Pretenders, Grimlock, and wanted to stick him in there so you wouldn't lose them. You know, you can kind of slide him in there, and he works pretty good. Other than that, you know, this is basically what he, what it is. You know, you can close it, snap it does come with this real nice low carrying case. As you can see, it's the real nice, um, I'm just going to say Thundercracker style blue. That's just my way of saying what color. I mean, that's what it looked like. Thundercracker blue. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little show. I told him I was going to give him a showcase on it to show him what it was. And, um, hope you guys, uh, enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for more Transformers reviews. Um, I will be reviewing 
these guys right here. I got my Rav, Don, Leo, Mike, couple foot soldiers, April, and movie ones, splinters. Furry. Ooh. But yeah, stay tuned for more Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. And uh, peace out, people. And later.